Hi, this is Mashnu and I would like to announce my next broadcast now. It's going to be again on a Monday, Monday, June 13, 2011, uh, at 8 o'clock uh, Central European Time at livestream.com slash Mashnu2006. Um, and we will continue with this uh, topic of um, using prophylactic thinking in chess. I have seen many examples uh, from Grandmaster Games and I would like to share them with you and uh, investigate them together with you. As you know it's a very interactive uh, broadcast so you can uh, during the broadcast you can uh, chat with me so we can discuss different uh, moves and variations. Um, right now I want to give you a short preview. Here is an example well it's actually quite a dramatic example um, the players are with white uh, Lubomir Kavalek, Grandmaster, against the Dutch player Hans Boehm. Um, it's a white to move here, of course, because black is threatening, threatening mating one with bishop to uh, h4, checkmate. So, what um, Kavalek did here is he played, of course, the only move that's correct to prevent this this checkmate, and that's uh, knight to f3, okay, guarding the h4 square. What White would actually like to do, yeah, is um, to use his, the queen to enter to d7. That's actually White's plan, but he needed to play knight f3 before, so so the mate will be prevented. So now it's black turn to move and black plays a very um, a very good prophylactic move he plays a move preventing white's plan of entering on d7 can you see the move okay here it comes it's um, knight to f8 knight to f8 a very good move guarding the d7 square so the queen cannot enter here and here we, we see what happens when you play prophylactic chess your opponent there is a chance that your opponent gets a bit desperate and that's exactly what happened here in, uh, in this game because white still wanted to have his active play and he forgot about the possibilities of, uh, of tactical threats of, uh, of black what he did is he played queen to e4 with the idea of entering now here on b7 again the seventh rank but he was completely surprised by black's answer I'll give you five seconds to find it exactly it's bishop to h4 check and now white is completely lost because now that the queen is on e4 the white knight on f3 is pinned so knight takes h4 would lead to loss of the queen so this is what can happen if you forget to think about the chances of your opponent alright well I hope to see you um, on June 13 at 8 o'clock Central European time and we'll have a look at different um, examples about prophylactic thinking in chess. Right, this was Mashnu, and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.